Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing my son's baby changing table organization tips. So I got his changing table at Jordan's Furniture. I don't know how much it costs, but um, I will look online and I will put that in the description box below. But, um, I really did like the white and gray because it really goes good with his nursery. Um, those are his color themes. Um, in a video soon, I will do his nursery tour. If you want to see that, um, tell me in the comments below. His changing pad just has a blanket on top that um, we got from... Um, the hospital when he was born and when that gets dirty I just toss it in the wash. So I'm going to so, show you his first draw. You open it up and right here we have his wipes. We use pamper wipes. So I have um, you know two of them because we always run out and then when I run when I run out of the pampers um, I use the IGA baby wipes as well. In this little blue container right here I have his Little Remedies gripe water which my son loves the grape water. It really helps him um, with his gas when he's colicky. So if your um, son or daughter has gas issues, um, I highly recommend the grape water. Just check with your pediatrician, of course, first before you give it to them, but it does really help my son personally. And it comes with a little syringe as well. And then I have um, his binky clip and another binky in there just for backup. <laughs> Uh, I got these containers at the dollar store for a dollar. They're really cheap and they really work well. So um, today he had his two month um, physical and he got, um, how many shots did he get? He got three shots. So that was really heartbreaking, by the way. It was so sad. I started crying. <laughs> um, so they put band-aids on him, but they were small. And when I got home and I was um, changing him, they were falling off. So I just had to run to the store and get um, kid band-aids. So that's that. And then we have this Johnson's baby lotion. I don't really use this that much, but I just have it in here just in case. And then I have this um, Dr. Brown baby balm, which smells so good. And it makes your baby skin really, really soft. So I highly recommend that. I got that at Babies R Us, by the way. Both of those. In this and container, in the back, we have the bulbs. Um, I got one bulb at my baby shower, and I got the other bulb at um, Babies R Us. It just, snucks, it just sucks the snots out if your baby's congested or if he has any boogies. I got this one from Little Remedies at Babies R Us. And this came with the... Um, saline spray or the saline drops not the spray um this works good too but i don't really use it i don't really use this and i don't use the bulbs these are here just to, like in case i need them for backup what i do love and use the most is this nose frida you probably heard all the hype about it um this is the thing where you suck the boogers out it is nasty but it does get the dot the job done really really well so if your baby um is congested I do highly recommend um, the nose Frida it works awesome in this back container we have um, the little remedies sterile saline mist um, it moisturizes and flushes out mucus um, it works really really well um, I'm always restocking on these so if your little one is congested you should definitely try this out you can get it at any baby store and that's the same thing. I just have two of them. Um, this is a gas relief um, gas relief medicine by I don't know how to say that, <laughs> but yeah, I give I don't give this to him all the time. I find myself giving him the grape water, and then if he's really fussy, I do give him a little bit of this as well. Um, over here, I have the Aquaphor um, healing ointment. Um, advanced therapy. It's a huge tub of it because I do really love it. Um, I don't use it as a um, as like a medicine to get the rash away. I use it as a barrier and it works really really well so I highly recommend it and um, I have the tube one back here. It's a smaller version. I just pop this one in my baby bag for on the go. Um, and right here I have um, his baby nail clipper which is really, really helpful. I know pediatricians recommend to file the baby's nails because it's safer. 
but I did try that and it didn't really work out that great so um, I was like oh I have these and I got this at my baby shower so I'm just gonna try it out and what I recommend if you're gonna clip your baby's nails is feed them first have them fall asleep and then do it in their sleep so they're not like moving around as much and you can really get a good grip and hold their hands tightly and then you know um, cut their nails so you don't the big thing is like you don't want to get their skin because that's that can really hurt them so just be really careful I'll do a whole video on that because I kind of feel like I really figured out the best way to do that all right moving on <laughs> so in this container also I have this Aveeno baby calming lotion um, I use this all the time I use this right when he gets out of the bath it really calms him down and it makes his skin super soft so I really love that we have a baby thermometer and this one is from Babies R Us. You always have to have that handy just in case, you know. It's the middle of the night and you want to take his temperature because he's not feeling well. It's right there and it's handy. Yep, so that's it for this straw. That's it for this straw. Moving on to the second draw. So in this straw, I keep all of his diapers. Right now, we are using Pampers, and he's in a size 2. The reason why I really love Pampers is because it doesn't leave him a rash. Um, he never has any blowouts or any leaks. Uh, I usually stock um, this up, so when I'm changing him, I can just open up the draw and put it up here. And it's just, like, really easy, so I don't have to, like, bend down and get it out of the box. So I make sure this is always stocked up with his diapers. In this tub over here... I have the Desitin Maximum Strength Original Paste for his diaper rashes. Um, if you're a new mom, you go through Desitin so, so fast. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting the tubes. Um, if you do get the tubes, you can put those in your baby bag. But I would just keep, like, the big tubs in your baby changing table because you're mostly home and this will last you forever. In this container right here, we have... Um, Boogie wipes, um, I don't really find any use for these. They're okay, but I don't find myself reaching for these, so they've kind of just been <laughs> sitting there. And we just have more um, Johnson's baby lotion in this container. And that's it for this draw. All right, and these draws down here, I have all of his clothes, his onesies, his socks, his pants, his shorts, I have his dressy shirts over here, and I have some more onesies. So that's all I keep in this draw. Um, I have to find a better system for the socks because, I don't know, I just feel like this draw like always gets messed up and it's so annoying to like having to keep reorganizing it. Um, so if anyone has any suggestions on where to put the socks so it's less messy, Leave it in the comments below, because I've yet to figure that out. So, that's it for this straw. And the last straw... This is, like, the messy draw. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even bother um, folding his pajamas, because they all get messed up when I look through them to try to pick one out. They just get all messed up, so I kind of just given up on that. Over here we have his blankets. Um, this one is a Carter's swaddle blanket, and this is another hospital blanket. Um, I don't really swaddle him anymore. Um, I did when he was a newborn and one month old, but now he's two months old, so he's like not swaddled anymore. So I just use these if he's cold now. Um, if he's having like a really bad night and he is fussy, I will swaddle him, but that's rarely. Over here I have his hats, which are so cute and they're so small. Oh my god. Um, we got this one as a gift. It has his initial on it, C, for Christian. I'm going to show you the hats because I think they're really, really cute. So he got this when he was born from his aunt. Um, I bought this one recently for when it's cold outside and we go out and he needs a hat. And it's just plain white. Um... That hat came with a Carter's outfit. It's so cute. I love that one. Um, this one came in a pack with the white one, the white hat. It's by Gerber. 
this hat is a Jordan's hat. This hat, um, my nunna made it for him. She knitted it. It's so soft and really cute. He can probably fit into this at like five months to six months. Um, these are his hospital hats. He has two somehow. Don't know how that happens, but those are his hospital hats. Um, I bought him that hat before he was born with the cute little frogs. Another one. This is a cute, I love this hat. <laughs> um, it goes with his Tigger onesie, which I really love Tigger. Where is that onesie? Oh yeah, right here. So that hat just goes with um, his Tigger onesie. It's so cute. I'll insert a picture in the video at the end. <laughs> and oh, this is his hospital hat. The hospital gave it to us. It's so, so adorable. I absolutely love it. Oh my God. Oh, brings back so many memories. So those are all his hats. And then over here we just have um, that Velcro swaddle blanket. And oh, this is a gift from somebody. It's by Burt's Bees Babies, 100% organic cotton by TJ Maxx. Um, what size is this? Three to six months. So he can probably use that now. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And in the comments below, please let me know what videos you guys would like to see from me.